What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Trading Wars. Today, we're going to be looking at building a trading system, implementing it, and all the tools that you need. This was the topic requested this week on Twitter. And if you're ready, let's step into the war zone. All right, so first of all, what is a trading system? So a trading system is a set of rules um, that give you a statistical edge in the market, meaning that every, any system must have at least um, a positive expectancy. And a positive expectancy means over a period of time, you're going to make profits. So it's that simple. There is numerous types of systems. There's numerous types of strategies, but you have to pick something that suits your personality and something you're comfortable with, whether it's swing trading or day trading or scalping. So you, what, what I mean by a statistical edge, you need to have a positive expectancy. And that is related to two factors. The first factor is going to be your risk to reward. And the second factor is going to be your win rate. Okay. So if you have, if you're building a system that has a high win rate, let's say 60% plus, then most likely your risk to reward is going to be inverted. Meaning you're probably going to get close to a one-to-one -one risk to reward on every trade. So let's explore what, what does risk to reward actually mean? Okay, let's look at that. So let's say on Friday, so this double bottom that I called out um, on Friday, let's say we entered this trade here and our, we want to go for a 0 0.5 risk to reward. So that means for if we're risking $100, when we get to $50, we're going to take profits. And why would somebody even do that? Well, people would do that because they know that they have a higher probability of actually hitting their targets. So maybe 70 or 80% of the time, they're gonna actually win um, versus getting stopped out. So on the other end, we can say something like, okay, instead of that, let's go for a 1.5 times our risk, right? And obviously if we do this th throughout each day in the market, there's gonna be days where we don't even get there and um, our win rate is gonna decrease, but we're going to be making more profit. So if we're risking $100, now our profit target is $150. So positive expectancy determines, is determined by your win rate and your, your risk to reward ratio. So you have to figure something out that you like, that fits you. If you're someone that wants to get in and out, want anywhere above one-to-one -one is, is safe with a high win rate. If you're someone that just wants to have the big winners, um, but you don't really care about how often you win, you can go for two, three, four plus um, your risk to reward. So we need to determine what our win rate is and what our risk to reward is going to be. And our win rate and risk to reward is only going to be proven through something called a back test. So the back test is fundamental. Anyone that hasn't done a back test has not looked at their strategy over um, a period of years is just gambling in my opinion because you don't know if you're actually trading something that's profitable you really don't know so this is why you have to back test and i'm going to go through some examples of ideas that we can do and kind of break down sample plans you guys can take these plans adjust them um, depending on your your risk appetite depending on how you how comfortable you are and uh, you can apply it um, and do a back test and see what the results are. Um, so let's, let's have a few, um, let me share a few ideas. So one idea would be, let's trade every tweezer bottom or top that we see, okay? So in TradingView, there's this free indicator called tweezer scanner, and it'll highlight in dark green anytime you have a candle with the same exact low or same exact high as the previous candle. And I like, uh, so these are called tweezer tops or tweezer bottoms. In this case, we have a tweezer bottom here, right? So an idea of a system would say, okay, let's test all the tweezer bottoms that we find in the regular trading hours for SPY, um, going for a one-to-one -one risk to reward, and let's see if it's profitable. So we have two examples on this day. We had one winner and one loser. So if we went for a 1.5 times a risk to reward, we would have uh, won on this trade and we would have lost on this trade. We've still been able to walk away with profits, right? So that's an example of a system, 
Um, so you have the clear entry and exit. You need to find a tweezer top or tweezer bottom candle, and you need to enter above the high with a stop below the low. Your risk management is 1.5 to one, and you're gonna sit there and you're gonna back test it for let's say the last six months and see what the results are. And if you come out on the other end with a profitable expectancy, now you have a system that you can apply every day to your trading without emotion and without uh, bias and um, get profits from the market, right? Here's another example of a tweezer candle that would have worked, right? So let's say we went um, entry above this high, stop below low and got our 1.5. So that's an example of a, an idea and a system that you guys can implement and test. Another thing that we can look at is, let's say we were to just make a system based on Fibonacci. So let's say every time we have an impulsive leg, we are gonna buy a pullback using the Fibonacci. So what we could do here is we could say, every time we touch a 618 or the 786 or the 50 or the 382, I'm gonna buy um, some shares and I'm gonna put a stop loss at the previous, uh, the swing low, let's just say. So we could do that and take profit targets at these targets. Let's say we wanna take it at the 0.5. And then we would literally have to go back every day and see what this fib would give us on a, on a longer term picture. So here's another example of a 382 and a 50. Keep going back even more. See what we have here. So we have another example here. This is an example of a 50 right here. Let's see what else we have over here. So if we take the short from here to here, we have an example of a 786 poking above and so on and so forth, right? So we do this every day test it, back test it, see what your results are, and then write specific rules. Like, okay, I'm only gonna enter with a 50% retracement uh, between the hours of 9.30 to one o'clock, let's say. And your, your risk to reward is gonna be a two to one. So that's something you can, you can go ahead and, and, and test. Or another example is, let's say we wanna do specific patterns. Let's say we wanna short double tops. Um, short double tops that are outside the Bollinger Band. That's, that's, that sounds like a good plan, right? So how, how would we execute that? So we would go back and look at all the trades that had double tops that were outside the Bollinger Band. Here's an example here. One, two, double top outside Bollinger Band. Here's another example. One top, two tops outside Bollinger Band, and we were short. And let's say we go for a home run there. Let's say we go for three to one risk to reward. So these are, these are how you build systems. You have to sit there, you have to look at the markets, you have to figure out what type of trader do you wanna be? Do you wanna, what do you wanna use? Nothing is right or wrong in trading because everything works in trading, just not all the time. There is gonna be times where Fibonacci's are, are working, there's gonna be times where double tops are working, but you have to do the due diligence to take and write down a set of parameters and rules and do the test. So you have a statistical advantage and then come each and every day to the market and apply it. Okay, guys. So I'm going to be doing a Zoom call a little bit later today at 7 p.m. If you're interested, DM me on Twitter. And I'm going to be like looking at more of these systems in more detail with the people that join um, because I don't want to get this YouTube video to be too long. So again, to summarize, a trading system is a set of rules with a statistical edge. You figure out that edge based on a back test and historical data. Every system must have an entry and exit and proper risk management in place. And some ideas that I've shared today are using um, double tops, double bottoms uh, with the Bollinger Bands, using Fibonacci's, um, as well as using tweezer tops, tweezer bottoms. Um, so these are all great ideas and all of them do work, just not all the time. So this is why we have to do the due diligence of testing historically to ensure we have a positive expectancy. All right, guys, I hope that helped um, clearing up the system. If you don't have a system, if you don't have rules, then you're just gambling. You're wasting your money. You might as well go and buy a lottery ticket because you don't know if you're actually trading something that makes money or not. And this is the hours, countless hours that I've spent developing my own system and styles that I share with my uh, people in my apprentice program. And it's not an easy process, but it's a very rewarding one. All right. So see you guys later today who's joining live and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you very much.